Let's get those legs a little bit wider than our shoulders and just take a deep breath in, arms up, and then let yourself side body stretch here. Take another inhale, reach those arms up, and take another side body stretch right there. We're gonna do that one more time on each side, so take your time. Breathe in deep center and breathe out, side body stretch, maybe a little bit deeper, one more time. Big inhale here, and on that exhale, taking it to the other side. Let's do a little bit of rotation here, just to make sure that we're feeling any release in the lower back, any residual tension from your weekend or your sleep. You wanna make sure that you're aware of that. And beginning to push that arm through center. Again, it's just creating a little bit more rotation. So you're the one in charge of that. So we're gonna change this now. We are still in the warm up phase. Begin to come into a step touch. Try to get your step touch to be low so there's more power involved and less momentum. Make sure that you're always using some athleticism with your upper body. So it might look different than mine. You might be doing something different with your arms, but you wanna keep it energized and athletic. So now we're gonna go into a knee. I'm still keeping my legs quite wide here and using the arms to circle over and up. And that's gonna create a side body crunch and it's gonna give me some heart rate. I'm gonna change this again, getting up into that warm up phase for a little heart rate to a side to side squat. Here we go, side to side squat. So it doesn't matter if you're going left or right. It's about going side to side. Try to get a little bit deeper on your squat now. Bending and pressing through the legs, protecting that back by pulling in that core. Think about coming up with a nice big squeeze in center. Make sure you're really aware of the rhythm of your breath. You need to take a recovery at any time, do it. Now I want you to do the same exercise on the same leg. Don't switch legs. Same leg. Keep it as a tap or begin to fight a little bit deeper into that knee lift. So side squat, knee lift. When I count you down, try to change it to a kick if you can. 10 counts. Here we go. One, two, doesn't have to be a kick. Try it though. Three, breathe in and out. Four, five, six, seven. Nicely done. Eight, listen up. Nine, I want you to tap side to side. Get your arms rotating. Now remember, when we do a single leg or a single arm exercise, you are in charge of remembering what leg you did, so we always get to the other side. On my count, we'll go into that side squat. I'll tap first. Three, two, and one. Side squat, tap. So this is where I just kind of figure out how my balance is, and then when I feel ready, I add intensity there. So I'm just gonna remind you that when I count you down, it'll be a 10 rep count, and I'm going for that kick. And another reminder, you don't have to. Wait here, keep going. Three more like this, gotta even it up. Do one more like this. Now we're going into our 10 count, here we go. One, nice. Two, breathe out. Three, deeper squat maybe. Four, athletic arms. Five, weight in the heels on that squat. Six, four more. Seven, whoo, eight, feeling it. Nine, go for one more. Make sure you have space behind you. Alternating reverse lunge. So I need to get these in right now because we're going into more combos today. So I have to make sure that you've done all the single sets before we go into those combos. Alternating reverse lunge. You can see that today. I'm doing a single arm push, keeping it strong and athletic. Woo, you can always have your hands on your hips. That'll release a little bit of intensity into the exercise. Four, yikes. Three, two, do one more. Side tap, alternate the legs. We got those done, nicely done. A little interval for heart rate. Stay here or pick it up with me for a 10 count push. Here we go. One, two, three, I'm feeling this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try to finish the whole combo. Nicely done. Take it into knee ups. So you can use this time as a little recovery. 
recovery, or you can add a little more down and up. I'm changing this to a squat alternating leg lift. I'm gonna add in some arms. Are we ready? Let's go squat and lift. Alternating the leg. Whew. Got my heart rate up there. You can see I'm pushing through the triceps. Nice big kick back, little side body squeeze. Reminder to feel free to slow it down or pick it up if you like. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I want you to do those forward lunges. So I've just changed it now so I have room in front. I'm alternating my legs. I am coming all the way down to the mat with that back knee. You don't have to. Try not to hinge forward while you're doing your forward lunges. Woo! Five, four, three. There's a method to this. Two, go for one more. One leg lifting, side leg lift. Try to keep both legs bent. If you're struggling with your balance today, simply hang on to something, maybe a wall, strong piece of furniture, countertop. Just get yourself into position. Both knees are slightly bent. Medius work, side body activation. Let's go. Can you add that upper arm, creating more abdominal crunch? Countdown coming 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, double squat with the tap. The tap does not have to be low. You don't actually have to leave the mat with your feet. You can just keep those feet nice and grounded and do that pulse squat. Again, little heart rate interval. That's it. Here we go. Eight, seven intervals of fitness, breathing five. You know it. All of it is checked off the list. Three more. Go two. Go one more. The other leg's got to lift now. Remember, quickly. You gotta remember what side you're on when you're doing those single leg unilateral exercises. Both knees are slightly bent. Keep working, keep working, keep breathing. I'm gonna add that upper arm now. Yeah, getting a creation of abdominal crunch just by utilizing that one arm crunch. Here we go, I'm gonna count you down. 10, nine, eight, seven, listen up, six, five, four, three, Two first advanced combo single leg front lunge. Step center, single leg reverse lunge, same leg. Single leg front lunge, tap, same leg back. So I'm tracking my body in line with the moving leg hip. So try to visualize your hip bone and then track your leg in line with that. Now, I'm gonna advance it by bringing the knee up in center. You can always tap it down. So there's a forward lunge and there's a reverse lunge. Try your best. Four more. Three. Your pace, not my pace. Two. Hold your lunge deep. Just get down into a lunge and hold it. Pulse it up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And come up. Step touch. Excellent job. Excellent job. We're gonna create intensity again from this exercise. So you have an option to stay here if you need a little heart reducer or bring it into that freeze knee. If you're looking for agility, contraction, and of course, heart rate goes up. The opportunity to really focus on your abdominal wall in this exercise is on that knee lift. Maybe crossing opposite elbow to opposite knee Giving more rotation as well. Four, three, two, single knees up, single knees up, single knees up. You've got to prepare for the other side. So do you remember what leg you did? Forward and back lunge. We'll start with a tap first. Here we go. Tapping in center. You can always put yourself beside a table, perhaps a wall, if you need that support. Breathing. Balance is very different day to day. Ooh, I'm gonna intensify it now by lifting that knee in center. I'm trying my best to keep my torso stacked, the nice length and position, but at the same time, 
Ab wall in tight, breathing through the chest and the throat. I'm gonna count you down now. Four more. Woo! Three. Yuck. Two. Hold your low lunge, pulse it out. Just figure out where your lunge needs to be and pulse it out. Here we go, count down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on up. Two step side, two step side. Double step touch, let's go. Oy, getting a little flush in those legs. I'm gonna bring myself off my mat because I'm gonna start to shuffle it. So it's up to you. I'm also gonna add what? A tap. So I'm doing a shuffle, outside arm tap. That outside arm tap, notice it's this low, narrow squat. Low and narrow on the squat. 10, nine, whoo, eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, mama, three, listen, two, alternating front kick. Now I'm gonna get into that side profile free here. I just want you to notice there's an ab crunch every time I kick, every time. Doesn't have to be a high kick, you know that. Arms up and athletic. We're going into front kick, back kick, alternating leg with a pendulum motion. You know this one, are you ready? Let's go, front kick, back kick. The pendulum, torso control. Abs in, tight. Glutes, assisting. Power position with those arms, come on. Try not to flail around. Control the movement of your body. I'm gonna count you down on the combo. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, run one knee in. Run the knee in. Don't worry about which side, just run it in. 80% of that weight should be in that front leg. Again, I talked about athletic arms that see them. Again, the opportunity for more ab control is when that knee lifts. So right there, you should be crunching. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two step touch, go. Two step touch. Same combo that we just did. I'm getting off my mat because you know I'm gonna shuffle and tap. Here we go. You don't have to add the shuffle tap. You can keep it as a simple double step touch. When I'm tapping, I'm in a narrow line, just doing a narrow squat. Five, la, 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 la. four, holy moly. Three, get ready for kicks. Two, do one more. Alternate your kicks. Yeah. I just scared my dogs. So, Front kick, back kick, other side. You gotta know your sides, yeah? Ready, begin. Front kick, back kick. Pendulum motion. Arms up athletic. Strong power position. Breathe in and out. You're working angles. Let's go. Push a little here. Longer. I'm gonna count you down 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, alternating curtsy lunge. I'm slowing it down. Woo! My back knee is dropping to the mat with control. There's a lot of power coming up through the glutes to bring myself back up with strength and control. There's curl, ab wall in. Otherwise, I'm going to start to dip down a little bit too far. You decide what your lower back needs for this position. Here we go. Eight, seven, alternating that leg. Six, you always have the option to make it linear. Five, we're gonna do a combo. Four, the countdown does not mean it's over. Three, we're just gonna change it, listen. Two, do one more curtsy, listen carefully. Do a reverse lunge on the other leg. Do another reverse lunge. Yes, now do a curtsy, alternate those legs. Does that make sense? Two parallel, two curtsy. So two parallel, your pace, and then a curtsy on both sides. Woo! Woo! I'm still working, I'm going into 
alternating lines of the body. I'm doing the cross behind, and then I'm doing the parallel. Feels good to hit those lines. Let's go a little longer. Aye, aye. Oh, yes. Good. Can we have one more combo here? So curtsy twice, and then parallel. We'll change it up. There and there. Now, guess what? You're going to run the other knee. Do you remember what knee you did a run in? Oh, I can't believe I remembered. I almost forgot this run in. Okay, get into position. Just give yourself a little check. What knee did you run in? Because you go to the other side. Let's go. Pump the arms with athletic style. Every time that knee comes up is, again, opportunity to abdominal wall crunch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, step curl. Little hamstring work here, heel up to bum. So I'll be doing the next few exercises with one weight. If you don't have any weights, you are utilizing whatever you have access to. You'll be holding both ends of the weight, so you have something different like that water bottle we talked about. You're just kind of holding it with both hands. In three, two, so grab that one dumbbell or whatever it is that you have resistance for. Let's go into a wide position with those legs. Just hold your weighted option here in center and down and up. So what you're trying to do here is refrain from hinging forward and don't let that weight take you out of alignment. So that's where the struggle is. You're maintaining a long spine, even though there is a weighted option flooring you into that hinge. You don't want to. You want to fight for it by squeezing through the abs. And guess what? Your glutes at the top. It's important. That's what's going to keep you in a nice upright position. So we're just adding resistance to this. Yes, you are right. You can do this with no resistance. Here we go. Eight. Full range squat is what we're looking for. Seven. Breathing in and out. Six. Knees in line with toes, five, yay, four, you know it, three, it's going to be a pulse, two, do one more, finish your round, come down low, pulse it out, one, two, nice and light in the heels, three, four, sorry, nice and light in the toes. Now, lift your heel off the ground, one heel off the ground, one heel off the ground, keep that pulse going, keep that posture perfect, make it a small pulse, make it accurate, articulate, and make the performance proper. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch your heels. Oh yeah, 20 reps, 2, 3, breathing out, 4, sweating, 5, keep going, 6, in my eyes, 7, 8, 9, I'm looking for 10 more pulses, a little higher up the heel, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, squat, lift, no higher than chest height. Again, I want you to focus on trying to find a good, true 90 degree angle of those legs on the way down. Now, when you come up, pull your ab wall in, stretch your arms forward and pull your ab wall in. And that's where you're gonna find that dynamic tension through the body. Control the weight. It's not a swinging motion. It's a lift and lower. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. This is hard work today. 6, 5. We're ready for it. 3, 2. Now we're going side to side in a fan lunge. I'm going to start with my weight here. Just this is where you will maintain the weight. Some of us will turn our dumbbell into a vertical position and do a hand transfer. I'm doing the hand transfer. I'm allowing some rotation in the body. So you have to be prepared for that. So you have options. Wide fan lunge, you might have to heel toe out of it. Keep those knees in line. Rotation from the torso. Breathing in and out. Lateral movement and a lot of hard work. Here we go. Eight counts. Seven, six, five, four, three. Listen up. Two. Just you can do this. Hold the handle of the book. Turn. And row. Just hold the handle of that water bowl. Let's go. Try to get that back heel off the ground so you're in a staggered lunge position. So not only am I using my lats to row, I'm using my obliques to help the rotation be tight. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, listen, four, three, two, lift up onto that front foot, take the weight to your chest and lift back leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, go for 10 more, soft bottom knee, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, wide squat position, down and up with the weight, one, no higher than chest, two, abs in, arms extended, three, four, what about that 90 degree angle with the legs, five, squeeze up, six, breathe out, seven, we got this today, eight, nine, I want you to try to do 10 more if you can, here we go, 10, nine, slow it down if you need to, eight, ay, ay, ay. seven, six, five, breathing, working, four, three, two, fan lunge, weight switch, one, option, keep the weight center, three, four, five, six, oh shoot, seven, eight, two more, nine, make sure you're turning the other direction, the stab your lungs position and row it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, try for those ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, weight to chest, are you ready, lift up, and 20 lifts, one, two, three, four, breathe out, five, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more if you can, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, low squat rotation, let's go, low squat rotation, Try to think of your abs being glued to your hip bone. So you're in that contraction, super tight, super athletic, knees in line. Let's do the work. From here, we're going into goblet squats. You will have to decide on the alignment of your feet. Try to go a little parallel if you can. If you need to swing, rotate those toes slightly. We're going for some depth shape and we are going for a full 20. Are you ready? Find your position for your goblet. Touch and squeeze up one. Touch. And squeeze up two, three, four. Extra strength up, please. Five. We're almost there, guys. Six, seven, five, eight, nine. Ah, you know it. Bonus 10 reps. Here we go. Down and up. One, woo, two, your pace, three. Okay. Four, five, ah, uh, six, really? Seven, eight, two more, some standing side four, nine, stand up, weight in one hand, side body crunch. Opposite arm, add some leverage. I will be lifting this arm up overhead. I like the sensation of length that it gives me. You choose, so I'm adding extra, Extension on that opposite side to create more contraction through the obliques. Feeling side body, try to keep your knees parallel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Simple switch to the other side. Start in that low leverage position, and when you feel ready to add it, you're really creating some extra length. Be mindful, not for everyone. Feels good to my body to that side contraction. Here we go, a little longer, a little stronger, and I'll count you down, don't worry. I'm even, evening us out, here we go. It's 10, nine, eight, seven. A little challenge coming up, six, five, four, three, two, Find that wide squat position, bring whatever you have in your hands for weight to your chest, drop your squat low, bring it into a 90 degree angle with the arms. It's almost like a number 11 position, little lift, little lift. So I'm going up and down with my arms, it's small movements. I'm static, static from toes 
all the way to chest line, static and holding. Doesn't mean not breathing, so be aware there. Woo! Here we go. I'm going to do a 10 count. Countdown, sister, and you're really good. 29, 8, 7, sorry, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ditch the weight, everyone. Come back onto your mat. Let's go to that step touch. Go side to side. You have a couple minutes left with me. We're going to make this into agility and heart rate. You have choices, remember? Or we're going to do a single leg tap, pick a leg, any leg, and let's go. Side leg tap, picking up pace, getting low in that standing leg. That's a single leg squat, right? Yeah, athletic arm. We talked about this. Make it a knee. Woo! Here we go. Maybe a little twisting action. If you're feeling nice and warm through the torso, add on that rotation whenever you can. Love it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Listen, two feet together, pulse it low. Feet together, knees together, thighs together, pulse it low. Weight in the heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, tighter, lower. 4, 3, 2, other leg, tap out and in. Add that agility. Remember, athleticism, that bottom knee is slightly bent. You're not locking out those joints. Add in that knee. Let's go do that crossover as is comfortable for you. Breathe in and out. Yeah, you got it. We're going into double out, double in. It is a little bit of impact. It's not for you to change it. Four, three, two, one. Double out, double in. You can keep it on that narrow pulse or the wide pulse. Double out, double in. Double out, double in. Double out, double in. Four more like this. Four, and squeeze. Three, right there. Two, I'm doing an exercise I haven't done in a while. It's my ski. Here we go. If skiing is not for you, then the simple front toe tap. Can I ask you to get into a little bit of a hinge position here? Again, looking for athletic arms. I know this is an impact exercise. Please pick and choose what's good for you. Feeling the need for a little bit of burn here. I'm going into a squat, alternating knee lift in four, three. Two, arms wide, elbows wide. Get into that prisoner action with those arms. Two moves. Woo! Yeah. Here's the work. Here's the work. Woo! Okay. Six more. We are, listen, coming up to the last one if it's me. Four, three, two, wide legs. Fan it out, fan it out, fan it out. Let's go for that drop. I will end off today's half hour with me of our total body workout with 10 jump squats. No jumping, no worries. Still got work to do. And I'll transfer you over to you know who. You know who's coming your way. Killer Carol, I give you a challenge today to try and do every one of her reps. Try to do every single one of the reps, even if it means you have to dilute and modify, give it a try. Are you ready? On my cue, 10 jump squats, walk it out, or just do what you want to do to finish it off with me. Here we go. Monday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Guys, walk it out. Well done. All right, Stop we're going to start reading. Walking it out and coming to you, Carol. Yep, we're going to start on the mat. We're going to start with a little bit of upper body work. So weights, uh, ball, Yay. and body bar, water jug, whatever you have. <laughs> <laughs> we know we have a water jug out there. Somebody's got a water jug. I hope it's a five gallon water jug, right? All right, your, your section was a little tough today. So I want everybody to sit down, roll the shoulders back, grab hold of your weights, lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Coming into my favorite on a Monday, a chest press. So hands up to the side, I want you to lift up and down. So start nice and gentle today. 
Take a moment here to check in with your body. I want you to pull the belly button in. I want you to activate through the abs. I want you to push the lower back into the wall. Focusing on that chest. I just need to readjust the hair. Keep it going, keep it going. Down and lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Ah, down and lift. Good, down and lift. Whew. And push. Chest press, right? Again, check in. Make sure you're not arching through the back. Make sure you pull the belly in. Make sure you activate that lower back on the floor. Ten more here. That's nine. Whew. Eight. I'm going to do some ab work after this. Six. And I, I heard Marilyn's challenge, right? Dilute if you need to, but do every rep. Three, Five. two, hold the weights up. Chest height. Are you ready? Do not drop the weights behind the head. Pull the abs in. Lift all the way up and lower down. Good. So lift. Okay. Keep those weights in line with the chest on the lower down. Do not bring them behind the head. Bring them behind the head. Will not use your abdominals. That will just use momentum to pick you up. Lift it and down. Ten more here. Ten. I know it's all right. That's nine. Perfect. Wait. I said I was going to start easy, right? I lied. Pull down. Perfect. Nice. Lower it down. Five, you don't have to work at my pace. And four. Good. There's three. Perfect. Nice. There's two. Ah. And one. Lower yourself down. Turn the weights to face each other. Little bend in the elbow. My favorite for upper, upper body. Back flat on the floor. Weight comes down behind the head and lift. So down. And lift it. Navel is short. Lift. Down. And lift. So overhead dumbbell pull <laughs> All right. Working shoulders, working chest, working triceps, working middle back. And of course, if you are pulling that belly in, your abs are helping you to make the weight up. Four, <laughs> ten, yes, ten, and nine. Perfect. Good. Eight. Nice. Seven. Take the into, into butt lifts after this. Five. Oh, six. Five. My <laughs> Four. There's three. Perfect. Here's two. Nice. And one. Take the weights onto the hips. Take the bottle onto the hips. Take whatever you have onto the hips. Bring the feet a little closer to the butt. Lift up the hips. Bring them all the way down to the floor and shoot them up. Tap the floor and lift. So really more of a glute bridge. Tap and lift. Squeeze. Tap and lift. If it's too much with the weights, break the weights off. But I know everybody on here is strong. You can do it. You've got this. It's Monday morning. Start the week off the way that we intend to go on. Down and lift. Good. Again, pulling the navel in. Down and lift. Feel it in the hamstring. Last 10. And nine. Good. Eight. Next seven. And six. Nice squeeze. Five. Squeeze at the top. Four. Good. Three. Here's two. And one, hold it at the top, hold it at the top. Bring it into a static hold. Lift up the butt a little higher. Come up onto the balls of the feet. So activate through the calf, activate through the hamstring, activate the glute, pull the navel in. Just 10 seconds, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release down. Just take the weights to the side for now. We are not finished with the weights. Bring, bend the knees. Coming into my favorite with the obliques, that little oblique crunch. One hand on the floor. Opposite hand, take it to the side of the body. I want you to lift up and lower down. So pushing into the hand on the floor if you need that, that help. Good. Try to keep the knees together. So crunch up towards the ankles. Crunch up. All right. So you're not crunching towards the knees. You're coming straight up and down. Then straight up and down. Lift up and down. Good. Ten. There's nine. Here's eight. Seven. Six. I know it works. I know it works. Five. Four. There's three. Here's two. Hold it up on one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Push into the hand. Bend the knees a little more. Roll yourself over onto your knees. Drop one hand down onto the floor. 
Extend the top leg long, lift the top arm up, bring the arm close to the ear, lift the leg up, and let's take it in small little circles today. Little circles. Ooh, little circles. Circles burn more than just lifting up and down, right? Little circles, small little circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, hold that leg up, crunch it, and crunch. Good, and crunch. So you know this exercise well. Shoulder work, oblique work, supporting butt cheek work, inner thigh work, outer thigh work. Last 10, 9, and 8, 7, perfect. Here's 6, good, nice, 5, 4, 3, there's 2, and 1, hold it here, hold it here. Little neck lifts, lift. Lift. I'm only layering three exercises because I won't remember it. Lift it. Lift. Lift it. Nice. Lift it. Lift. Lift. Lift it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold that leg up. Crunch it. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Nice. Five. And four. Here's three. There's two. And one, drop that knee down. I'm not going to be mean today. Drop it straight into the other side. So just readjust yourself on the mat. Top leg comes out, top arm comes up, bicep to the ear. <coughs> oh, lift that leg, little circles. Good, little circles. Ooh, little circles. Nice. Keep that belly nice and tight. I know you've already worked that supporting butt cheek. So that's going to be burning. A little quicker than the other side. Navel drawn in, focus on protecting that lower back. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Little crunch and crunch. Good. Crunch it. Nice. Crunch it. So feel the shoulders engage. Feel the abs engage. Feel the butt engage. Feel the obliques engage. 10 more. 9, 8, good. Seven, six, nice, five, and four. Here's three, there's two, and one. Don't drop that leg down, little lift. Lift, lift it, lift, lift. Focus, pull in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last set of crunches. 10, 9, 8, good, 7, 6, nice. Five and four. Here's three. There's two and one. Drop that knee down. Pull it up. Come on over. Hands and knees, tabletop position. Maybe just wiggle out through those hips. Maybe just push that child's pose. Whatever feels good to you. Coming back into tabletop. Shoulders and wrists are in line. Uh, oh, just need to readjust myself here. I want you to curl the toes. You know where I'm going with this. I don't think we did it last week. Push into the toes. <coughs> Pull the abdominals in. Lift up little bear pose. Good. Hold it here. I was going to do a blank series, but I think we'll do a bear series. Knees are off the floor. Hold it strong. Hold it strong. Hold it strong. Hold it for 10. Hold it for 9. Hold it for 8. Hold 7. Yep. There's 5. Hold 4. 5 for 3, 2, one, push back, down dog, pedal it out, pedal it out. This is fun. Raise the right leg up and 20 lifts. Two. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt, squeeze it, squeeze it. Little lifts, little lifts. Don't open up those hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop that right foot down. Guess what? Get forward plank, drop knees. Hold the knees off the mat. Hold the knees off the mat. Focus on using the quad. Focus on using the abs. Hold it here. Rotate the shoulders down and away from the ears. Draw the navel in. Whew. Hold it. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, hold 5, hold 4, 3, 2, 1. Push back down. Now take a little moment here. When you're ready, lift that left leg up. Don't open up the hip. 20 lifts. Lift it, lift, lift, squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt, lift it, 
Yeah, nice, good. Lift, lift, lift. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that left foot down to meet the right. Guess what? Hinge forward into plank. Ooh, take a moment here. Readjust yourself. Drop knees down to the floor. One inch, one inch. Hold it here. This is the last out there we're going to do. Hold 10, hold 9, hold 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop to the knees, shift back child's pose. Eight seconds of recovery here. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and 1. Come forward onto the hands. Push into the feet, readjust yourself, straighten through both legs, coming into high plank. If high plank is not for you, by all means, drop it down onto the forearms. All right, navel in, and you know that I like to start off planking this way. I just want you to rock back and forth on the feet. So as you rock back and forth, take the mind to the abdominals and feel what's going on. Feel the abs, activate. Rock forward, you should feel the abs solid. That's where you want to keep them. Nice and solid. Hold it 10 more seconds here. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five. There's four and three. Here's two. Hold it here on one. Drop the knee, one knee down to the floor. Extend leg, other knee. So a little walking motion here. Again, if you're on the forearms, you can be doing this. If anyone is coming to class tonight, I promise no plank, no plank. Yep, 10 more here. Nine, eight, three, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to the knees. Again, hinge back. Maybe you take that little child's pose. Let's drop down onto one side, coming onto the forearms. Legs are nice and long. Legs are in line with the hips. Push into the hand that's, push into your hand. Sorry, not your forearm, I had to think about that. I want you to push up the hips because you know how much I love a side plank. Option, raise the top arm up, bring that arm towards the bicep, little hip lift, hip lift, hip lift, hip lift, lift it, good, nice, keep going, lift it. Lift, lift, lift it. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it here. My feet are sliding because I'm sweaty. Maybe, maybe we're strong enough to lift that top leg. Hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Come back through center. Just take a little moment here. I did lie. Push yourselves up. Push back into a plank. Hold it here. Jeez, we haven't done five minutes planking for the longest time. All right, from here, let's just do little side to side rolls. Just little side to side rolls. Feel those obliques. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We have got to come to the other side. But just for now, drop down onto the forearms, hold it here. Hold, hold, hold it. Strongest plank ever. Strongest plank ever. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop to the knees. Shift back, take a very quick child's pose. I'm just going to swap sides. When you're ready, join me on your forearms. Legs are straight out in front of you. Lift up the hips. Lift up that top arm. Nice little side plank here, little lift, lift, lift it, lift. Don't worry, we're not gonna come into plank again. Lift, lift it, nice, lift it, lift 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold here. Are you stronger on this side than the other side? Maybe lift up that leg, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop it down. Come down onto the butt, come into a sit up position, roll the shoulders back. Oh, roll yourself down. 
I forgot, nobody reminded me. Take your legs to the opposite direction. We only did a piece on one side. Are you ready? Lift up and lift. Get lifted. I almost let everybody go away lopsided today. And lift straight up and lift. And lift it good. And lift 10 more. There's 10 and nine. Here's eight. Good. Seven. Six. Perfect. Five. Four. Here's three. And two. Last one. Roll yourself back. Bring knees to the center. Bring heels close to the butt. Lift up the heel. Lift up the butt. Heel toe the feet in. Okay. So squeeze your bum. Little butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly the legs. Butterfly. So working glutes. Working hamstring, working abdominals, and as you do butterfly, you're activating through the inner thighs. Challenge. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Good. Everybody take the challenge. Balls of the feet. Balls of the feet. But it's lifted. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, la la. Ten. Nine. Eight. There's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, release yourself down to the ground, hug the thighs in towards you. Lift the legs up. Option for this series is to keep the head on the floor. If you want to add on, you can lift up the head and shoulders, but drop them down when we come into a reverse crunch. So four uh, scissors down to the floor. One, two, three, four. Reverse your crunch, extend your legs, and lift. So scissor. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Reverse your crunch, extend the legs and lift. Yep. One, two, three, four. Reverse, extend and lift. Good. One, two, three, four. Reverse, extend and lift. It's a little slower today. Slow does not mean easy. Reverse, extend and lift. So one, Two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and lift. One, two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and lift. Five more. One, two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and lift. Four, two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and lift. Three, two, three, Four, reverse, extend, and lift. Two, two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and lift. Last one, two, three, four. Reverse, extend, and keep the legs lifted. Keep the legs lifted. Little lift up. Good, little lift. So tiny, tiny little lift. Working lower abdominals. It is not a swing up, right? Tiny little lift. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold the legs up. Lower them down so they're one inch off the floor. Lift up the head and the shoulders. Lift up the arms. Hold it still. Strengthen stillness. Hold it 10, hold 9, hold 8, hold 7, and 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hug the thighs in. Maybe just rock yourself side to side. Bring the feet down onto the mat. Come into that figure four. You know how much I love this. So just for a very quick second, take that little stretch. Stretch out through the butt cheek. When you're ready, I want you to lift up the bum. Make sure the hips are squared. You're not dropping side to side. Little lift. Little lift. Lift it. Good. Lift. So tiny little movement. Tiny little movement, lift, squeeze, lift it, lift, lift, lift it. Whew. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep breathing, keep breathing. Make sure both shoulders are active on the mat, lift it, lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, there's 3, 2, and 1. Lower the bum down to the floor, keep that ankle on the same knee, lift up the leg. Are you ready? Hands behind the head, or straight out to the side of you. Little crunch up. So figure four crunch, 
lift it, you can lift it, nice, crunch it, and crunch it, and crunch, crunch, good, crunch it up, crunch it up, crunch it up, there's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it here, tap the foot to the floor and lift, tap and lift, good, tap and lift, nice, tap and lift, good, tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift, we'll keep going, keep going, feel the abs burn, tap and lift, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, good, 7, 6, perfect, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, drop foot down to the floor, uncross the ankles, up the thighs in, just rock side to side for a moment, place feet onto the floor, knees are bent, opposite side, take ankle across the knee, when you're ready, push into that foot, lift up the hips, again, maybe you just hold the hips, maybe you make that adjustment for yourself, make sure that the hip bones are square to the floor, and the lifts, lift, lift, good, nice, perfect, lift it, lift, Really feel that individual hamstring activate. Lift it, lift, lift, lift. Perfect, lift it. Nice. Ten more here. Nine, eight, seven. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Release the bum down to the floor. Lift the foot up off the floor. Lift up the head and the shoulders. Hands to the side or behind the head. Whatever feels good for your body. Little crunch. You'll crunch it up. Crunch it. Small little crunch. Crunch it. Crunch. Oh, crunch it. Good. Crunch. Crunch it. Ten. Nine. Crunch eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Tap the foot. Good. And tap. Nice. Tap it. So really feel this in the oblique side of that tapping foot and deep into the lower abdominals, tap it, tap, tap, good, 10, tap nine, and eight, there's seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one, drop that foot down to the floor, uncross the ankles, because you know that hip lifts are my favorite, push into the feet, lift up the bum, this time, push into the heels, and lift up the toes, if you can, the tire, the tire, the tire, little lift, little lift, little lift. So lift higher than you can feel it in the quad and in the glutes. Yep, yeah? little lift. Toes are lifted, toes are lifted, toes are lifted, lifted. Lift, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze. Lift it, good, lift. 10, lift nine, eight, seven, there's five, four, three, two, and one, release the bum down to the floor. Grab the hold of your weights. If you have just a single water bottle, don't use it. You just do the exercise without the weights. So from here, I want you to come into a single arm chest press. So only one weight is lifted, one hand is lifted, one weight is lifted. The other hand is down by the chest. Are you ready? Lift it up, bring it in, push it out, Bring it down. Alternate the hands. Lift up. Bring it in. Push it out. Lift it down. Alternate. Lift in. Out. Lower down. Alternate. Lift. Little chest press. Yep. And alternate. Lift it. There. Lift. And down. Alternate. Woo. Perfect. Good. So not only working chest, not only working abs, working shoulders, and working middle back. Ready? Two more like this, change arms. Lift, boom, push, and down. Lift, boom, push, and down. Lift both arms up. Are you ready? Lift up, middle chest press here. Lower down. And lift, bam, push, and down. And lift here, push, and down. And lift, squeeze shoulder blades, Push with the chest and down. Lift, squeeze shoulder blades, push and down. Oh my God, I want three pound weights. Whew, and down. Five more. Press and down. Last.
last four, squeeze shoulders, press and down. Here's three, squeeze, press and down. Here's two, squeeze, press, last one. Here's one, squeeze, press, release. Back into chest press because I'm doing a lot of chest today. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Maybe a little flush for the shoulders. Lift and lower. Push the back into the floor. Good. Just 10 more. There's 10. Nine. Good. Eight. Perfect. Seven. Six. Five. Sorry about that. Four. Three. Two. And one, bring the palms to face each other. Out and lift. So chest slide. Push that back into the floor. Out and lift. Good. Out and lift. Out and lift. Perfect. Last ten. Nine. There's eight. Seven. Good. Six. Perfect. Five. Here's four. Oh la la. Three. Nice. There's two. Good. And one. Get rid of the weights. I've just seen what the time is. I want you to lift the legs up. Take opposite hand to ankle. So lift up. Cross over. Good. Lift. Lift. And lift. Lift it. Perfect. Try to keep those legs nice and long. Oh, fight to keep the legs lifted. Come across. So cross ankle. Cross ankle, cross ankle, cross ankle. Last 10, nine, woo, eight, good, seven, six, oh la la, five, I hope everyone's doing each rep. Four, three, good, two, and one. Roll down, bend the knees, keep those legs at a 90-90, lift up head and shoulders, Take hands behind the head if needed. Tap single leg, single leg, single leg, single leg, single leg, single leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the head and shoulders a little higher. Extend the legs long. Guess what? Roll yourself up. Hold here. Take hands behind the, the hamstring if you need to. Otherwise, lift the arms up. Belly is nice and tight. Hold, hold, hold. Can we do 15 seconds? Here we can. Hold it. Keep the legs lifted. Keep the legs lifted. Keep the legs lifted. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bend knees. Come on up into a seated position. Roll the shoulders back. Oh. Take one leg in front. Take opposite foot to the inside of the thigh. Little stretch here, inhale, arms come up. Whoa, and just exhale over that straight leg. Ooh, la, la. Ooh. Nice little hamstring stretch. Nice little stretch in the glute area. I don't know where the time went. I was having way too much fun there. Take a nice deep breath in, roll yourself up. Very quickly, that same leg that was bent, bring it over the straight leg. Pull it in, and again, if that spinal stretch is what you're looking for, take it. It's an option. Coming back through center, releasing the leg. Let's just give them a little drum roll here. Opposite foot comes to inner thigh. Whew. Readjust your body, inhale, arms come up, and then exhale, folding forward. Oh. If you need a little micro bend in the knee, by all means, take it. Hamstring stretch, glute stretch. A bit nice deep breath in, come on up for me. That same foot that was against the inner thigh, cross it over, pull it in. And again, that spinal twist is what you're looking for. By all means, take it. Good. Nice big breath in, come back through center, bring the legs nice and wide. Release your skin away from the mat so you can feel your sit bones on the earth. And then whenever you're ready, take a nice deep breath in, lift up out of the hips, and very gently hinge yourself forward. Ooh. Forearms onto the ground if that's your level of flexibility, if this is as far as you go. 
That's as far as you go. I just want you to stretch inner thigh, a little bit of the inner hamstring. Oh, thank you very much for coming out uh, today, ladies and gents.